Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm supposed to open boxes. At long last, a clan collection that arrives in Europe without a delay. I cannot believe that this day has finally come. So like clan selection 2, I remember, had some delays, I think, like the, the second one back in like the start of last year. And then clan collection in general, like the first and second one were like super delayed, I remember as well. Finally, they released one that actually came out on time, which is very, very cool. So today, we're going to be opening up four boxes of the first, well, the third, I guess, clan collection. And then another video, we have volume four to open up four boxes of as well of course i'm not going to be going through all four boxes like you know going through every single card i'll slowly open one box and then the remaining three will just kind of kind of like go through and you know highlight the s peoples i guess and whatever else is even better than that but i'm pretty excited for this set even though the current v meta honestly let's be real is not super exciting simply because it hasn't really changed very much in the last year or so but there's also some really cool cards for premium in this set too so of course in clan collection volume one the clans that we have in here if it focuses are royal OTT, genesis kagura murakumo narukami dp spikes pale moon bermuda aqua force and mega colony so the ones i'm playing in this set are uh, royals of course jewel knights have been very excited about ever since they revealed them uh then kagura i'm keeping narukami i'm keeping dimension police is really nice for premium in particular uh then pale moon of course i'm pretty excited for reverse look here and then uh, i guess bermuda i have the card so i might as well build it and that's about it so everything else kind of is just gonna be sold slash given to people in my locals so that's gonna be fun but 100 number one hype is salome oh my god i'm so happy about jewel knights finally existing in v and in premium 2 again and of course look at reverse you know silverthorn's got a nice buff here but i think the meta definitely does need to be trimmed down a little bit in order for you know these decks to actually be worthwhile also before we get into the actual box opening a huge thank you to park cage for sponsoring two of the four boxes we're opening in this video if you want to pick up some cards yourself make sure to head on over to the link in the description and park ages website and use the discount code different five for five percent discount at checkout all right so let's open up just one box first we're going to take it slow really look at all the cards and of course in each box we still get one sp so there's seven cards per pack and you basically in one box you get one of each card in the set which is very nice so we should statistically get basically one of everything it's very rare for you to not get that but there are some cases where you don't i don't know how or why like you know it's i guess it comes down to quality control uh in general but of course let's just get opening and see and of course every single card in this set is a triple rare foil and it is basically half new cards and half reprints so it's just overall a nice set there's no new gimmick like in clan collection one and two with like heal guards and stuff this one is more i guess like you know just like a clean set there's uh no new gimmicks just like reprints of the effect crits which is it's a bit of a questionable reprint i think there's some better ones that could have reprinted for v obviously they can't reprint vrs yet but you know surely that'll come next year oh god the flaps are getting worse and worse to put in these days so every box also comes with a nice little force one slash force two marker so this one is with a dauntless drive and dauntless reverse so pretty cool nice little marker we'll put that aside and get into it so i think in terms of packs we have like what 12 yeah so 12 packs i'm gonna put the box aside for now and let's get into it so i'm pretty excited to get into it and see how this is going to pace out this pack looks like super off center which is a little bit weird on the back it looks kind of okay i think but this looks like <laughs> super off center but the coloring is also a bit weird like it doesn't really you know it's supposed to be like super edgy with like reverses and stuff but i don't really get that kind of like edgy reverse feeling from the clan collection 3 uh design let's say so let's get into it and see what we get we have the drifting flow fencer so i think first we get reprints so we have ratka the crit so first four cards are reprints Ooh, die dragon is a very nice one salome in the first pack is cool but that means we can't get an sp which has been unfortunate is the foil i think the foiling is the same as usual but it's pretty cool because on her side the flag is mostly non-foil that's actually kind of cool so the way her foiling sticks out is actually quite nice uh, and then we have the tamamo as well as brilliant blister so pretty good this card is really nice for mega colony you can basically like guard with him and stun one of your opponent's rears and then you also get to bounce him back uh which is very nice and also get a card draw so very good tama was also an interesting like alternative grade 3 boss unit for murkomo but salome of course is the main thing i'm looking for in this set basically giving jewel knights a grade 3 boss unit to rally behind and also a lot of cool support so pretty good i think i'll just set aside like the new cards with the old cards reprints are overall pretty good like stuff like die dragon is pretty nice although it has fallen off now in recent times uh, some of these reprints definitely feel like they were decided on a bit too early maybe i don't know hard to say all right, I I misread this as Volan Tuber Dragon. So it's like a VTuber dragon, but 
this is a reprint? I guess it was a Kagero promo that I think we didn't get in English, or if we did, then it was very like low key. Uh, Metamorphox, that's a nice little reprint too. Linea, so of course, Silverthorn reprints are gonna happen this set. Oh, I think Megalorood, I never had any copies of him, so this was originally printed as a non Silverthorn, and then they actually rotted it to have a Silverthorn name, so it's uh, pretty interesting, but zero power. But when you call it by an ability from Soul, you can choose any other player's rear guard or any player's other rear guard and put it into the Soul, and then he gets plus 15 so he's a good attacker he's a great four as well which is interesting uh in standard so those are the reprints slash some new cards master beetle is the kind of grade three boss unit uh, for mega colony in this set together with ooh blazing flare i really like blazing flare in this set basically lets you like burn your opponent's markers which is a very sick mechanic and i hope they do more of that in the future because it's honestly pretty cool it's pretty cool and then we have tete so this is the witch support for ott um it's all right i think like um it's I don't know how good witches are from this set to be honest because i think that for like the premium ott battle sisters felt really nice and i don't know if they really like have gotten much better from that like i guess Tsuki, the tsukumi support last set was also pretty nice too uh but ooh very happy about this the reprint of gel sludge is really welcome this is a super staple in like every format for dp and now having it in triple rare foil is very cool Glaipnir, that's a reprint, that's also nice. And then Zubayr, this was another promo, I believe, for Narkami. And we have the Linebacker. So this one was re released in English, um, but not in foils. So this was a, I think, the Shop League promo, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, we have Mr. Maelstrom Reverse. So of course, the new boss unit for Maelstrom. It is pretty good. It can also be used in Link Choker and Premium, which is pretty funny. Then we have Renren, so this is the Narakami support. And finally, Dragonic Lawkeeper. Finally, as a V-Series version. I think a lot of people were very happy about this, and I haven't seen too many people playing with it, but I like how his, like, box like text box is just about as big as it used to be back in the tcg when he first released which is kind of funny actually all right let's keep it going see what else we have again there's also some vsrs in this set i think the vsrs are mostly just the cover units so basically it's lukir salome and himiko in the volume three so if we can pull one that's pretty cool but obviously salome is the main one i'm looking for all right then we have genesis die brave pretty good reprint richard not really that necessary rebel or Re is it rebel yeah rebel so this guy is actually a pretty good reprint for royals it was a promo that's pretty easy to get if you had tournaments last year Ooh, we pulled the look here reverse which means we won't get her in sp the reverses look really cool in sp as well because they have like the like whole reverse frame around them so very sick this card is amazing but it's only like a two of for the most part in most of on this because you can just ride her from soul so you just soul charge her and then go into her later on eunice is very nice <laughs> you nice for sure uh this card is just amazing for dual knights gets you a bounce gets you a soul charge which are both really important and also gets you a retired slash draw and then we have the armor beetle as well for grade two so pretty nice we have uh the look here already kind of hoping they would switch up the like rarity for these sets already it's a bit of a shame that they still haven't but you know, I guess that's there must, must be a reason behind it. Ooh, Barca now has a triple rare foil reprint. That's pretty good. All right, another crit, Grand Beat. Machining Cybister. Was this... This was either in the Luard set or was a promo. I'm not too sure. I think this was a promo to the Finessa. Ooh, we have the Refia Raid Rock. So, of course, technically Lock, but not really. So, I wouldn't really count this as the reverse. But she's a pretty cool card. Another Exorcist Mage, as well as Valeria. Pretty good support card for uh, Aqua Force. And, of course, will be... I think some people use it in Maelstrom. So, that's also quite nice. All right, my cards are freaking falling apart over here. Gotta pull myself together here, all right. So, let's keep it going. It's actually quite fun. It's nice to just see some, such a variety of cards. Like, there's no, like, random dud commons or anything. It's just, like, cool reprints. Ooh, I forgot we have a triple rare Levaro now. That's a, that's a very pleasant surprise. I forgot about that completely. All right, crit, crit. Ooh, Ulixis also in triple rare. That's quite nice. Okay, this is the yo-yo, the new, uh, this is the triple rare, like, the support for witches. Pretty cool. Ooh, Endless Float. It's actually a pretty good card. So basically when you ride over it, your Vanguard is plus 10k, and you can discard one to call him out. So it's kind of like, it's not as good as Dimagnum. Dimagnum actually gives you, like, uh, oh, like the Magnum actually gives you the freaking, you know, Force Marker, which is really, really good. Uh, but his other skill is quite nice. Like, on attack, if you played a grade 3, like, either on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, he gets plus 5 until end of battle, but then he goes, uh, he retires himself to draw. So, so it doesn't give, you know, doesn't go to Soul, which has been unfortunate, but still pretty good. And we have Marichka, very good Silverthorn support. Of course, you know, being able to uh, draw a card while Soul Charging is pretty good, but also being able to just push out more Silverthorns is also an amazing ability. So, this is the pack of the amazing grade 2s, I would say. The pack of amazing grade 2s. 
All right. I wonder what what they're going to announce for the next clan collection because that is basically coming out. I mean, we're probably going to get the announcement for it in um, on the Tuesday stream this week, so that'll be pretty exciting. Oh, better than us. Nice. Black Saturn. Was this? A, I think this was a promo too. I remember this being a promo, but nice. Another machining. Ooh, well, that's an SP that I'm sure a lot of people would love to have. Himiko Reverse. So see what I mean? This this is what the reverse SPs look like. Damn, that's a good one. One of my teammates was asking if I pull one uh, to save it for him. So that's very clean. The foiling looks really sick. The pattern looks really nice. And of course, like this reverse border is just amazing, right? And she's an amazing card on her own too. Like she is a re-ride at the end of turn. And then she basically like activates the triggers during your opponent's turn. So she like literally sets up defensives by her skill, which is very, very cool. So that's a nice card. Very pleased with that. Thank you, Himiko. That's very cool of you to show up like that. Ah, uh, yes, we have Weasel. We, the Weasel deck is complete now, or at least has more support. And Cobalt Wave, actually not a bad card. Genuinely very decent. Um, some people don't like how simple it is, which I understand, but still a very good card, nonetheless. So, all right, what are we missing? We haven't pulled Sybil yet, the grade 2 support for, uh, for freaking Pale Moon. Ah, yes, Ellie. I'm ready for Ellie to, to go now. <laughs> Dark side, the crit for this, crit for Bermuda. Zozo, also reprinted Dungaree. This one was a surprise, of course. Has triple drive, as well as 17k base power and crit 2 as the base crit. So, of course, he has a bunch of restrictions to make sure he reaches that, but he is a good card nonetheless. Hey, Sybil, there we go. And the Moo Moo, but Sybil, amazing card also. Really good plus in the engine for uh, Jewel Knights, so we do like that a lot. Keep it going see what else we can pull. What are we missing still? I think we haven't... Uh, oh yeah, Dorian has a triple rare now too. Seeing these reprints in triple rare actually is very, re very refreshing. Heat shot. Oh, I didn't... kind of forgot about that. This I remember. Title Soul being announced as a reprint. I do remember that is a nice reprint. Ah yes, original saver zero. I'm not too excited about zero, like even as a DP main. I don't know. It's a cool gimmick, but... I've heard in premium people are playing like Gravidia Zero, which is interesting. But yeah, when you ride over him or he attacks, you can combo one, soul boss one, draw one, and then give your opponents, like turn one of your opponent's units into zero power. Um, so it's for the whole turn, which is pretty cool. And you can bully them after that. But yeah, like, you know, it's when rode upon, so you can technically like go into like a Brad Black and like swing at them a bunch of times. Um, so that's a play. But otherwise, uh, when he is attacked on Vanguard Circle, you can discard a grade three to increase uh, or decrease that unit's uh, critical to zero until the battle so it's a cool little defensive card i guess but i don't know not really my thing i guess agile fullback this card is pretty cool makes nice little multi-attacks and then of course we have the anna the counter charger for silver thorns which is also an incredible card just as incredible as she was back in the limit break era and as well as in zero she's just as great right now just as great right now okay poop -poo. that's the witch support crit we have another of the spikes i think this was a common oh Jaggy Shot has been reprinted as a triple. I, I forgot about that too. Pretty cool. Ooh, Dudley Emperor. That's a good card. Definitely a very nice card. Spike's got some good support in general this set. Speaking of which, there's a grade one. And the Cider, of course, beautiful art. Really amazing art here. Cider in general is really, really good. You know, like either Soul Charge 1 and Balance or Soul Charge 2. And when you guard with her, you put a card from hand to soul to basically for every three cards in soul, get 5k shield. So she's an amazing defensive too. So just a really cool card. A lot of the new cards in this set are actually very, very good. Um, just that we need to, you know, kind of rebalance this format a little bit. Oh, this was a promo. The uh, Stamping Red gives a Cradle Marker, basically, and um, if you don't, then you draw. And then, um, yeah, he's a 15k attacker, so it's just a nice card, like, very well balanced, I'd say. Oh yeah, Mail Motor finally got reprinted. Again. <laughs> I mean, you can never have enough, right? You can never have enough. Ooh, Dauntless. We haven't pulled Dauntless yet. Good card as well. Very interesting. So you can Kamos 1 when you drive check a non-trigger in order to call it as a locked card. And if you do, he gets drive plus 1 and 10k power. And in the battle he attacks, you can soul plus 1, unlock all of your locked cards, and then retire them. And your opponent has to choose three of their rears and retire them. And if they didn't retire two or more, then they have to remove one of their markers on their circle. So, of course, against Protect doesn't do much, but still pretty cool. Ooh! Ooh, Eternity Chaser, this is a card that I really, really look forward to, especially in premium. So when you ride over him, you discard a card and then reveal a grade 3 normally under from hand. And if you do, you search deck for any grade 3 with a different name from that card and add it to your hand. So in premium, this means you can very reliably search for Dialiner or very reliably search for a heal guard if necessary. So it's just like a really cool card. And in back row rear, if he attacks, uh, when your opponent's rear attacks, if it's 25k power or less, so I almost want to retire him to basically make it so it doesn't hit. So it's pretty good. It's like a 15k shield but as a grade one so that's also quite nice definitely one of my highlights of this set 
and then the final pack for this first box, and then I can start cracking through the other ones and see if we pull uh, Epic SP or a VSR. So that'll be pretty exciting. All right, we have a Awazu, Crit, Crit. Oh yeah, Frema, this got reprinted as the Blade Master promo. And then, ooh, Hyakki Reverse. I think this is used in Link Joker and Premium. Seria, this card does like everything. And Yatagarasu, her art is amazing. I don't think she's available in SP though, so really cool art, really just amazing art, honestly, and like cool skill too. Uh, but unfortunately, don't think she's SPable, so that's that. All right, so that's the first box. Our SP here was the Himiko Reverse. So I'm gonna go and blaze through the next three boxes, and then we're gonna kind of look through the highlights of what SPs and stuff I pull, and then I'm just gonna summarize at the end of it. Ooh, the marker this time is Himiko. That's actually pretty cool. So. Himigo Reverse as the Force 2 is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh wow, my first pack is uh, Salome Triple Rare again, interesting. Uh, no look here SP either, sad. Oh, okay, we get Riffia Raid Rock as the SP this time around. Let's see that SP pattern real quick. I'm already like, sorting by clan and everything, so... Pretty cool, looks alright. Kind of hard to see the pattern actually here on camera. It's got a little like glitter star at the top but it's hard to kind of capture it but yeah that's the sp pretty good all right box topper for box number three is maelstrom that's a pretty nice one do we not have this before i feel like this specific maelstrom has been a axle mark already but of course this is pretty new but as you can see i'm still keeping the old cards laid out because i'm sorting as i go oh that's an sp i'm very very happy to see first pack magic once again salome with third box we get the salome sp all right that's all i could ask for vsr obviously peak but sp that's the good stuff thank god god bless god bless sheesh box number three also had a maelstrom marker so sadly we doubled up there unfortunate but still a cool marker so can't complain too much all right so i'm keeping everything sorted so that at the end of these boxes oh look this one's a bit better centered <laughs> still not really but keeping everything sorted so that at the end of this opening we can take a look at like how many of each uh we've pulled and oh no look here vsr or sp sad but yeah so that this way at the end we can take a look at how much of each card has been pulled to make sure everything is a play set for you guys to know in advance as well okay we're not gonna double up on the salome no vsrs either a bit unfortunate but one sp i'm pretty happy about oh hold up hold up i just felt something i'm gonna set this one aside for later okay wait a second I feel something in this one too. Hold up. Let me wait. There, there, I think we got a VSR. I think we got a VSR. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. These are the two cards I pulled that are textured. So one of these is a VSR, and I'm not sure which one. Did I pull a Luke here in this box yet? Hold up. Let me let me try this. Me. We pulled a Salome, that, that's for sure. Luke. Oh, we pulled all four. So wait, is this could this be a Himiko? I just don't know which one is the VSR, which one is the hold up, let me try to feel the corners. I think this one's the SP. I think this one's the SP. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Oh, no, it's the VSR. Yo. Himiko Reverse VSR. That is beautiful. So this set, they actually switched the borders. Now the borders actually match the clan. So if this was Lukir, it would have been purple. And of course, for both Salome and Himiko, it's going to be golden. That's so sick. And the SP is... Oh, it's a reverse SP as well for Hyaki Vogue Reverse. That's so sick. Look at these two. Oh my god. All right, let me let me sleep these up. Let me sleep these up. All right, so I just finished sorting everything so I can show you what it looks like. I'm not going to show every single pile, but basically, normally you'll get everything in base triple rarity, but if you have like SPs or SVRs, this is kind of what it's going to look like. So you'll still have like a play set of a card, even if it's in different rarities, right? And then, of course, the other cards will always come in four of. So you can see it from four boxes. You basically pull four of everything the reprints as well as new prints included so for the high rarity stuff that we got in this box of course we got the two himikos sp and svr which is you know for a himiko main that's crazy for me of course the highlight was the sp salome this is something i really really wanted so i'm glad to own at least one and then finally the hyaki vogue reverse sp which looks insane like the moon has a different texture there together with the, the rings and everything like good god this goes super hard so that's it that is a box uh four boxes of clan collection volume three so after this i'm gonna put up the volume uh four opening as well so you guys can see the pulls there and hopefully we get some spicy sps and another vsr as well so far we've had a pretty good vsr streak and i think this time the vsrs are really really good in this set too so definitely want to pull some if we can and get lucky there anyway once again huge thank you to park cage for sponsoring the two of the 
four boxes here as well. If you want to pick up any cards yourself, head over to the link in the description and check out Parkage and use my discount code as well if you want to pick up any Vanguard cards or cards from other card games as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do give it a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.